subscribe this channel for more videos and press the bell icon for latest updates. Hello guys what is going on this is Arjun and today we will unbox this iPhone 7. This is a 128GB model and the packaging of this phone is similar to the iPhone 7 plus. Here on the top we get the storage of the phone and below we get the model number, serial number and IMEI number of the phone. On the sides we get the iPhone and the Apple logo. On the front side of the box we get the exact phone size photo. Now let's open this box and see what we get inside this box. After iPhone 6s, Apple changed the packaging of its products. Now first we get this box, printed designed by Apple in California. Inside this box we get the getting started guide in different languages followed by the SIM ejector tool to pull out the SIM tray then we get the warranty info and two white apple stickers now let's put these on the side and next we get the iPhone 7 in this box this is the black model of the iPhone 7 and on the back side we get the aluminum body and the weight of the phone is less as compared to the iPhone 7 plus we also get this protective plastic on the top of the phone for now I'm putting the phone on the side and let's see what else we get inside this box. Now we have earports but this time we get the earports with lightning connector because the 3.5mm headphone jack is removed from the phone. But don't worry guys we also get this dongle on the back side which you can use to plug your older 3.5mm jack headphones. After earports we get the 5 volt power adapter and the quality of this adapter is very good. We also get the glossy finish on the plastic of the adapter which feels very premium. At last we get the white lightning to USB cable to charge the phone or transfer data between your phone and the computer. So that's all we get inside this box. Let's put this box on the side and look at the phone. Let me first remove this plastic from the phone. As you guys can see this phone is very shiny and the build quality of this phone is extremely good. On the front side we get the 4.7 inch display. Here on the bottom we get the lightning port. This is the first iPhone with water and dust resistant with IP67 rating. The weight of this phone is less and is also thin in comparison to the iPhone 7 plus. Right now I am unable to show you the exit color of the phone so let me allow to turn on some lights so that you can see the exit color of the phone. The whole back side of the phone is built from aluminum and the quality of this black color is very good which is achieved by polishing the aluminum. This phone comes with two black colors, one is jet black and the other one is matte black. On the jet black iPhone, Apple did the high gloss polish on the aluminum which feels like a glass but the jet black iPhone can be easily scratched so that's why I purchased this matte black iPhone. This iPhone is 7.1 mm thick from the side, on the front side we get the front facing camera, earpiece, capacitive home button and a 4.7 inch retina display. On this side we get the volume up down button and a silent switch. On the up side we get nothing and here on this side we get the power button and a sim slot. On the bottom side we get one speaker, mic and a lightning port to charge your phone. This home button is not a physical home button, now it is a capacitive home button. On the front side we get a 7 megapixel front camera with f2.2 aperture and on the back side we get the 12 megapixel camera with f1.8 aperture. The back camera also comes with optical image stabilization commonly known as OIS. So guys that's all for this video. Let me use this phone for a while and after that I will give you a full review of this phone. I hope you guys like this video. If you do then please like this video and subscribe this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Until then that's been it. Talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.